What's going on people, I'm Waterfields1 and welcome to the most viewed PS5 unboxing video on YouTube. It comes from Mr. Fast Easy Life Tips. Now he has 8,043 subscribers which is significantly more than me. So if you are new around here then please do subscribe, turn notifications on to help my channel to grow. But this video is called PlayStation 5 in brackets PS5 from eBay Japan $600 unboxing and it has just over 2 million views. Yes, over 2 million views. Now, my personal favourite part of this video is that Mr. Fast Easy Life Tips decided that this video needed a how-to guide video, so he has linked in the description to another video which is called How It's Made Viral PS5 Video fast easy life tips fake one thousand dollar so he felt the need to explain and show us his genius in creating this masterpiece of a video so what we're going to do is we're going to watch we're going to study as we always do we're going to make some comments about the original two million views plus video but then together we're going to cut in his little tutorial video as well just so we can get a full understanding of how he managed to pull this off so let's do it hi guys well i'm really really excited today because it's been a three-week wait but i finally got my new playstation 5 in from japan i ordered it from a guy called kancho kito you can look him up on ebay it cost me just 600 dollars and it comes with an Oculus Rift included. I actually had to pay an extra uh, $50 for the shipping. Uh, but we got here in three weeks, so I'm really, really excited. I've just arrived today. The courier's a much better choice than Royal Mail, but it took, took quite a long time, three weeks really. But I'm really, really excited. Of course, it's Mr. Cacho Kito that's selling the PlayStation 5 for $600 with $50 shipping. No idea why it took him so long to think of the $50 shipping price, but Cacho Kito is the renowned PlayStation 5 dealer on eBay. I'm pretty sure that's where Stomady got his from. Of course, Cacho Kito sold it to Stomady as well. And of course, why why would why would it not come with an Oculus Rift? I mean, of course it does. Of course the PlayStation 5 is going to come with an Oculus Rift. Just pointing out, this is a fully grown man making this video, people. A fully grown man is pretending to open a PS5 at this point in what looks to be some sort of strange basement dungeon area. Continue. That's my name, but it's come all the way from Japan. I didn't have to pay any customs, thankfully. Oh. Right, so we've got two boxes. That's what he told me would happen. Uh, got the Oculus there, do you see that? That's the Oculus. That's the uh, motion tracking headset that came uh, as an auction. It's normally $500, he says, for the, it's well padded, that's what I like to see. Um, it's normally uh, uh, an extra $50, but he threw in the, the shipping. Uh, I got that for $50, but then he threw in that uh, at a discount price, so that's really good. They're normally very expensive, the Oculus, um, but this can't really work very well without it. It's much better with it, he said. So I took that option, I'm really excited. Here's the PlayStation, got some padding there. So this is it, this is the new PlayStation 5. So at this stage, he's, he's completely forgot his own lies, the $50. Apparently that got thrown in and then he had to pay for it and then he got the Oculus for, for nothing because that's what happens on eBay. People do really good deals like that. You go, hey, have an Oculus Rift for nothing. I mean, the packaging we have on display here is arguably the worst I've ever seen. It, it, it looks like a four-year-old has made that PS5 box. That Oculus Rift box clearly weighed nothing when he picked it out and again, it really does look like a child has made this, but this is a fully grown man who has committed time in creating these things. And there's no comedy here. There's zero comedy. This is what annoys me about this sort of video where you haven't got a PS5. We know you haven't got a PS5. You're not unboxing the PlayStation 5. Everybody knows that. But at least 
try and make it entertaining, like make it comedic, make me like the video. Uh, this is just dreadful. I'm so excited. So excited. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's the PS5, mate. Um, I think from the listing, I think I guess that means PlayStation. I think that's PlayStation in Japanese. It's really well packed, so it's this original box. Of course that sticker on top means PlayStation. I mean, you've only got the PS5 logo on the front of the box, so of course, naturally, they would put PlayStation 5 in Japanese on the top of the box. Uh, that's the power unit for the unit, which is great. I'll just put that down there just now, and we can power it up any second now. Um, just undo that. Never work out how to do these properly. There we go. There's the power. Uh, power unit down there. It's quite long, that's great. It actually says PlayStation 5 on it. I don't know if you can see that. PlayStation 5. Really excited. And there it is, the also popular. I don't know if you can see it line from any fake unboxing video because it's not like you're filming a video. It's not like you can show the camera what you want us to see. So of course, when it's not there, you just go, I don't know if you can see it. Well, no, mate, I can't see it because you're not showing it to me. If you want me to see something, put it in front of the camera. That's how it works. Don't know what that is. Not sure what that is at all. Put that there just now. Check here. And there's a quick guide. Yeah, that is... Oh, that's the, that's the receiver unit for the Oculus. So I'll sit that there just now, but that receives the signal from the Oculus and you plug that into the main unit, I think. He literally looks at those instructions for half a second and then is able to inform us that, of course, that is the receiver unit for the Oculus. How did he make the receiver unit for the Oculus? Let's check out how it was made. <laughs> Controllers and console are glued foam painted black. I mean, for the love of God, sometimes words just, just aren't enough. With a uh, joystick, it's the usual uh, PlayStation layout, but it's uh, all pure wireless. And you also get the head tracking, so I think this is motion sensitive as well. So it's got pan and tilt and yaw controls, and it's got a really cool joypad there and joystick. Really pleased about that. And uh, what's this? Oh, not sure what they are. Not sure what they are. Oh, those are vibration units. Just another quick half a second look at the instructions to tell us that those are indeed vibration units. Of course they are. Of course they're vibration units. Oculus open as well. Let's see what that's like. You see that's the Oculus. Oculus were out for, they've been out for a couple of years now I think, but they come as standard um, with this model that I bought. So it's really good value when you think about it, because $600, that's just about £400. The pound's quite strong, just now £350-£400. That's the instructions for the Oculus. Wow, that's really cool. on there so the cell tape's on that's really cool that's the oculus rift headset so that attaches wirelessly i'll put the uh, batteries in there um, but that attaches wirelessly to the unit and uh, it just detects your head motions and feeds it back onto the screen there so i'm really pleased with that oculus headset oh god it's it's tragic isn't it it's uh, this this is the point where it's just a bit tragic. I mean, he has, what, duct taped some box there and just claiming it's an Oculus. Like, you could, he could have even bought just a cheap rubbish headset and just been like, yeah, it's no, no, no. He continues to play with foam and paint it. And, I mean, it's it just tragic. The main unit itself. Here we go, here we go, people. This is the main event. We are about to see 
the PlayStation 5. Come on, I'm buzzing. Oh, there's some more controllers there. Yeah, it's a spare power unit. Oh, that's a spare power unit. Oh, what a tease. He's only gone and given us an extra power unit. Ah, oh, now show me the PS5. Show it to me. It is the main unit. Really pleased with that. Really excited, eh? Well, here it is, man. Wow, that is beautiful. A really advanced design. That is the new PS5. Wow, that looks so cool. I don't know if you can see that there. What the f is that? Very, very fast processor. I think he wrote the all of the specs here. Yeah, it's got a 16 core CPU. I think that's central processing unit. 88 gigabyte of RAM. 18 teraflop, whatever that means, graphic processor unit with real time ray tracing. And that's a great increase in the graphical fidelity from the PS4, which is already quite good. It plays Grand Theft Auto 6, uh, and it comes with a driving game included in the unit, so I'll be able to try that with rich colours and incredible smoothness thanks to 120 hertz refresh rate. Where's the comedy? Like this is, this is just so painful to sit through. Okay. Put that into the corner there. Put that into the corner there. Yeah, that, that, that's how it works. You just throw a plug on the floor and it's plugged into power. Happy days. That plugs into down there. Again, just throw the magical plug on the floor and it plugs in. Genius. And then we just turn it on. Oh, that's so cool. So all the controllers are lit up as well. That's the Oculus on. It's all detected now because I've plugged it in wirelessly. So that is so cool. You can see how cool the blue lighting is in that. I really, really love that. Yeah. I've got to say it, but actually the lights do look decent. And that's actually quite a clever how-to, I guess, yeah. He painted the bulbs blue, and that's how he did it. Cool. I think it's pretty obvious that that was added post-edit, that the scene, the Sony animation was added in post-edit. It, it looks awful. So yeah, it was pretty obvious. Really, really, really impressed by that. That's the unit that's feeding the message from the headset through into that main unit there. That's really, really cool. I'm really impressed. Okay, so let's we can try on the Oculus Rift. Wait, he's not actually going to put this on his head, is he? And these are the controllers. This is the one that's the main one on just now. Really pleased with those. I think I use these controllers with this here. Yes, use the helmet mounted display and the controller at the same time. Wow, that's really cool. Wow, that's really cool. Let's try that, that looks so cool. I'll take my glasses off so I can try that. Then we turn it on here with this part of the unit. And there you go, he's hit the bottom at this point. The, the bottom has been hit. He's actually put that thing on his head. Oh, oh wow. Two, five, oh man, seven, it's like, it's like seven, you can't feel like seven, it's better. It's just brilliant. Just to confirm, you can't hear a word he's saying at this point. The car audio is so overpowering, but the punchline is fast approaching for the video. It's only taken 11 minutes and 25 seconds to get here, but are you ready for the punchline? Are you ready for the hilarious punchline? Here we go. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it has set a light and he is completely unaware of it. How on earth did he manage that? Wee! 
I said it was a crap basement room. <laughs> I love the realism in this tutorial. Scared now because fumes killing me. Don't know how bad fire is. I mean, if that was the case, wouldn't you just turn around and put it out? <laughs> of course, he sets the carpet on fire in turn, almost burning his house down for the video. <laughs> Again, he's speaking the truth, pleased with outcome, 1.3 mil views and top rank in PS5 search, sore lungs, destroyed carpet. It's now over 2 million views, so I guess it was worth it. <laughs> this video is taking a dark, dark turn. Wet towels, ready to extinguish, but it won't go out. What happens next? <laughs> Again, fair play, he knows it was crap, but he got his views. Just, I can't believe how good this is. Oh, man. Two, five, seven, two, Hang five, on. Something wrong with the head. Hang on, something wrong with the head. Hang on. Ah! 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 Dad! Dad! He sent me! He sent me a bomb! He sent me a bomb! Dad! He sent me a bomb! <laughs> Dad! Dad! He sent me a bomb! Was that punchline worth 13 minutes and 6 seconds of my life? Absolutely not. Is this arguably one of the worst videos I've ever sat through? Probably at this point. Has he got what he wants? Absolutely. He's got over 2 million views on it. And that is the most viewed PlayStation 5 unboxing video on YouTube. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on that tragic, tragic video. If you are new around here, then please do hit the subscribe button. Turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything PlayStation. I'm Waterfields1. As I've said, that was the most viewed PS5 unboxing video on YouTube. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your gaming. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.